When a dilation is performed on a hexagon, which property of the hexagon will not be preserved in its image? Well, uh, dilation means you're either going to make something bigger or smaller, and in fact your pupils dilate when you either turn a light on or you turn the light off. Uh, they get bigger to take in more light when you turn off the light. They get smaller um, to take in less light when you turn on the light. Um, so it keeps the same shape, but they get bigger or smaller. So uh, the length of the sides, that's actually a really easy one to figure out. No, clearly when it gets bigger, the length of the sides gets bigger. Uh, measure of the angles, well, that's our answer. Uh, the measure of the angles doesn't change because it keeps the shape. How are you going to keep the shape? Well, you're going to have to keep all the angles the same. Uh, orientation, that is if I can read A, B, C, D, E, F as clockwise, then I should be able to read A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, E prime, F prime as clockwise. Well, yeah, I can do that. Or if I could read the original as counterclockwise, I'd have to read the new one as counterclockwise as well. Okay, so it's going in a clockwise um, direction here uh, for each of them, so the orientation is not changing. Uh, what about parallelism? Parallelism is if they start off parallel, uh, any pair of sides, then they remain parallel. And here it looks like I made those two sides parallel, so the corresponding pair in the new figure, they also look like they're parallel. So it looks like it certainly does keep um, parallelism.